Because they are someone's property. And he is given to another. And so today, Father's Day, I want all fathers to understand that you are caretakers. And every caretaker must give an account. Amen. Amen. Turn to three people and say, the children are not yours. You cannot sit down and do this. Rise. Touch three people and say, Children are not yours. Amen. 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 The children are not mine. They belong to the Lord. If you do not believe it, remember Jeremiah chapter 1, verse number 5. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse number 5. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse number 5. The Bible says, before your parents set their eyes on you, I knew you. They did not even know whether you were a boy or you were a girl. Who does not know that which is his? Turn to your neighbor again and say, the children are of the Lord. Amen. Amen. You know, if we have the time, I will take my time and talk to you about the judges, our first Bible reading. In verse number 12 of Judges 13, Manuel went to God and asked what should be the guy's work? What should be his work? If finally my wife conceives what will be the boy's work? The reason is he is not for me. If we say Abofrano and Yemedia. Abofrano and Yemedia. Because the child is not for me, it's yours. And so I am coming to you to find out what plans you have in place for this. And the Bible said the Lord answered him. The Bible say, I know guys, guys like giving her cuts. In him say, boys, boys, you know, They do what they want with their hurt. But I want you to understand this that belong to me. Whether he wants to obey you or not, I don't want him to do anything with it. Amen. Amen. And so understand that. <laughs> Parents have great responsibility at hand. And so if you consider the second Bible reading in the book of Ephesians, chapter number six. The Bible did not say children obey your parents. The Bible did not say that. The Bible says, obey your parents in the Lord. And this, this means, 
It's not about what the parents say, but it's about what God is saying through the parents. Amen. I know some parents who advise have misled and has made children die before their time. And so God did not say obey. The parents, some parents could be selfish. Some are for one night. Some are playing nepotism for greatism. But obey them in the Lord. Amen. Let me take my time to talk to us briefly because if I have to consider my notes, we will not finish. Our posterity, our children are the continuity of our lives on earth. You might die, but if you had children, you live. Amen. It is my prayer that anyone under the sound of my voice who is crying for the fruit of the world? You will walk out from here pregnant. Amen. 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 You know, while Sarai or Sarah was considered barren, according to Genesis chapter number 11, verse 30. Genesis chapter 11. The Bible says she was buried. Bible say no you because he passed manipulus. And Abraham. Abraham. The Bible says he was loaded. Abraham According to Hebrews chapter number seven. What Hebrews and woman the verse number 9 and 10 the Bible says even whilst Abraham walked about without having a single child he was carrying even his grandchildren in him the sad thing was that Sarah's womb could not carry them. But I pray today if you have such an issue, may the end of it be today. The amen is too small. And so, Abraham could have children long ago. But it did not happen. Because Sarah's womb could not carry. But thank God for God. It is not God that is waiting for us. Amen. Amen. It is always God time that never expires. Amen. But the oppressions of the enemy in your life can expire. Amen. And so today, may any oppression of the enemy in your life come to an end. Amen. If our posterity reveals us whilst we were gone, that Abraham, not Abraham, was going to die without being remembered. 
pray God give somebody understanding. You know, anything that has divine glory and divine agenda in your life. That is what the devil is fighting. Yours might not be children. But there is something that will, you know, glorify you and reveal you to the world. Until now, you ask God, but why? May the hand of the enemy grow weak. Do you know that Abraham is the great, 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 great father of Jesus Christ? And as far as Sarah could not conceive, Jesus will not be born. Yeah. I don't know who I'm talking to. Then I may Sarah into me and woe, but no nature say Jesus Christ and we into me and woe. There is something in the inside of you that must pave way for something also to come that will be a blessing to many. May God make it happen. Because there is a cue. A Q, C U E, Q. When we say Q, we are talking about that which indicates and alerts, signal to exit or to enter. Yeah, well, Bibi, are your friendly Q? I just say, you can't say Q. I just say, Bibi, are. And my point, and my point, and my Bibi, and I say, Bibi, free ho. Amen. Amen. She's doing very well. Can we clap for her? That is the magnet magnetic power of divine that pull every other thing your heart desire to reach it. But the devil can allow you to have children if money is that which is the key. For your destiny. He will fight your finance. Abraham had money. Abraham no And he even said to God, You bless me. Who is going to inherit all this? No When Satan is fighting you, he does not fight overall. I want you to begin to assess your life and find and fish out where the battle is located. Which area of your life that you have tried many times and you know, I desire breakthrough here, but no matter how you try, you fail. May today, heaven back you up. Yeah. You cannot sit down and shout, amen. 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 May the Lord help somebody. The devil is strategic. He can make you have money. He can make you have children. But if your health is what is the key for your destiny. Whenever the appointment for your elevation comes, he will make you false. I know some people who told me, Pastor, whenever exam's time come, I forsake, then I knew their breakthrough was in school. Until exam's 
came, they were healthy. May this message be your eye opener. Abraham could buy anything. He could even have slaves. He, he has servants. His house was full of people, but no biological children. Abraham no go sika, obi to me ato nko, obi to me ato bibia na nso. Na oni ono akasa ni yefu no mo ba. His father gave him the name Abraham. E papa ma ne di no Abraham. Because when this guy was born, if he say yawo no no, they consulted omo eko hmm. Omo ko shishche ni omo, omo ko shishche ni omo. And they found out that this guy will be great and be successful through his children. And so the father named him Abraham, exalted father. But he couldn't father one. But may your impossible be made possible. In the name of Jesus, let me tell you, if you have God on your side, there, there are things in life doctors can't do, lawyers can't fix. No one who loves you that much can help. Because there are things that are impossible as far as we call you man. But with God, level Shatayaba. With God! Amen. Amen. That is why I recommend this God for you. Because if Jesus, David, named them all these great people were to come through Abraham, and yet he could not have children. Can you imagine how frustrating it will be? Mm. 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 David, Abraham Now, Abraham into me and Wobana. Over to me, who will be up with China washes and you're not Abraham or her Today, you don't know it concerns you. But let me bring the battle to your door front and the good news as well. The Bible says Abraham was is the reason why we have gathered today. Because we are all his sons. Amen. Amen. Through who? Jesus Christ. And you celebrate and you are happy to be a Christian. And, and do you think it came just like that? The same enemy who fought Abraham fought Isaac. Abraham says Sarah is not my wife, she's my sister. Isaac also lied and said, Rebecca is not my wife, she's my sister. The demon and the enemy who fought your parents is the same who is fighting you. And so that is why you have to understand posterity. Because if you carry my life, my enemy recognizes you as an enemy. Today, because of time, and renting. I said, fathers have some five roles to play. And all these five roles are model in Matthew chapter 6, verse number 9. Jesus said, this is how you should pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven. Give us this day. Our daily bread. 
and forgive us our trespasses. Lead us not into temptation. Men dying and go in the gym. Deliver us from the evil. For thou is the kingdom. For thou is the power. For thou is the glory. Every father must model this. Every father must model this. One, a father, you are a priest in your house. You are a priest because the priest's role is to see to it that there is peace between the people and God. We are also every It is your responsibility as a father. And no one can give what he does not have. You cannot play the role of a priest in your home if you do not love the presence of the Father in heaven. And so if we say you are a priest, you must teach your children to know God, to know heaven, to know there is Satan, and to know there is hell. Amen. I am making it short, 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 short. If you are a father, number two, you are a prophet. In your own home, nothing should happen to the family without you knowing it. But if you are not a praying father, yeah. your spiritual radar will cease to function. You cannot hear from God. You cannot see God. Every FM station has a radar. They need a radar. And it helps them catch information. And if you are not a praying father, because God does not speak to this here. Mm -hmm. And if you are a prophet, God speaks to your spirit. Yes. Amen. Amen. You need to know that this time children do not go out. This time we cannot do this. This time we can do this. We can go this way. No, it is not God's will. You must be that prophet. A father, you are a king. You see to defense, security, and protection of the house. Then no matter how powerful you are, someone is more powerful than you. But if you are a king under the king of kings, because your major enemy is not flesh and blood. And so if you do not recognize the king of kings, you will be like Nebuchadnezzar. It is the one who said, On Hino Hino, oh, who may yet he said, You look at me, I mean, I'm not friendly, you look at Teresa. And so, what you as a king will do is to commit the lives, including your own, into the hands of the king of kings who is ever present. It is the answer, who are Hino and who are Hino, who do you want to go? And the Shenya Kupo ends. Amen. Amen. And you are a father. The fourth thing. You provide for your house. You remember the story of the prodigal son? In Matthew, Jesus taught us, forgive us our trespasses. 
or Matthew, yes, which they say, but chain, not for your phone, so a chain. And so, when the prodigal son messed up and he was coming, his father was welcome. Sana or by the self, for no, or go born in who you are no who said, You hear me now, no one in here, no pain, and if I can hear the common one, I watch you. And the last number five, you are a coach. We are children. You are the mentor of your children. It is not about what you say, but what you do. Because whatever you do, the children are watching. It is my prayer that anyone under the sound of my voice who is a father or a potential father will understand that you are a coach and so you do not leave anyhow are you responsible enough if you claim to be a father and when it comes to the things all fathers do. And you complain and you cannot do it. Then it is either you are not ready to be father or you are not prepared to be one. Yes. Amen. The first responsibility is no matter how much the children trouble you, no matter how sleepless night, you must understand that fathers and parents sacrifice their sleep. And so if you could make it to work, you must make it to church with the children. Amen. 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 Oh, amen. Amen. And so see to it that you make room for the family to desire the presence of the king. I'm London because for that is the power. He has the power to give you life or take your life. For thou is the kingdom. The heaven and the earth and whatever you are pursuing, including your heart desire, is in this hand. Everything in Belgium belongs to the king of this nation. Yes, the king is the lord of the land. For thou is the kingdom. And thou is the glory. What are you looking for? You can have everything in life. Walk on red carpet and you are still not fulfilled. Have you not heard before that it is said, ah, but this man, I heard he is rich, but he can't fatan <laughs> I heard he is rich, but the money does not, uh, you know. I can't eat it. It takes God to glorify you. Amen. The same way, some have children, but it does not befit them as parents. Because they do not know how to carry themselves as parents. They do not know their responsibility, but may this never be your fault. Amen. I will invite Mr. and Mrs. Yansi. And on this note, our brethren on Facebook and on YouTube, we will sign up. May this message speak to you. We love you.